Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for August the 9th. Today, in 1557, composer Nicholas Ludford was buried in St. Margaret's Church in Westminster. His festal masses are preserved in several musical manuscripts of the period, including the Peterhouse Park Brooks and the Lambeth Choir Book at Lambeth Palace. He seems to have stopped composing sometime after about 1535, so the last 20 years of his life he wasn't composing. It's possible that he never really adapted to the new style of music demanded in the Reformation. Musicologist David Skinner has called Ludford one one of the last unsung geniuses of Tudor polyphony. And his music is currently being released by several early choral groups. One I recommend is a series on the Peterhouse Park Brooks recorded by the Blue Heron, which is available on all streaming services. The few contemporary references to Ludford suggest that he was private and very religious. He wasn't renowned in his own day, and his work isn't identified with any of the major events of the time. In 1597, the Elizabethan composer Thomas Morley, in his introduction to practical music, he mentioned Ludford as an authority, but by the time of the 17th century, his music was forgotten. It wasn't until 1913 when the scholar H.B. Collins talked about Ludford, and the unpublished masses were then being sung by the choir of Westminster Cathedral, and the first recordings of his works, editions by musicologist David Skinner, were made in 1993-95 to by the Cardinals Music under Andrew Carwood. Take some time out and listen to these recordings today, and remember Nicholas Ludford through his beautiful music. That's your Tudor Minute. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com, where there is an interview with David Skinner himself on the music of 16th century England. So check that out.